Hello. We are here with our first beer tasting. This yes. is Bruce. And this is Steven. Yes. And we have with us today is Matilda. A uh, beer out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's kind of a lighter beer, a Belgian. Comes in a four pack. This is the, the cutout from the four pack. This is brewed by Goose Island Brewery. It's a twist off bottle. Yeah, one of the few anymore. At least, you know, the good beers. So, we'll get started with a pour. Yeah. Do it to it. Are you going to try to get the trub at the bottom of yours? I think so. Yeah, why not? You never know. It's worth a shot. Pour a little bit there. That's a pun. <laughs> get the rest of that in there. So the trub is all that collection of yeast, brewer's yeast on the so bottom. back to the Matilda. Here. Back to the Matilda. So we got a nice color. This is uh, a nice amber color, which yeah. is uh, good for, uh, you know, a standard, you know, your average Belgian ale. They're usually about... Uh, you know, a nice color like this. And you can see through it, but at the same time, it's totally got a cloudy haze in there. And you mm -hmm. can almost see each uh, molecule of yeah, the haze. Yeah, you really can see little particulates in there. Yeah. Which is good. You know, that um, a lot of times with the Belgian ales, they're, um, it's a more robust yeast. And, uh, and what makes it a Belgian ale is specifically the yeast strain. That's what gives it that signature Belgian flavor. Ooh, it's got a good smell to it. And uh, what it does is it, you know, it can ferment at a higher temperature and it's uh, more resistant to uh, wild yeast contamination, which is uh, definitely nice. Now, is this uh, open fermented? I believe so. Kind of it, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. We're, we're just throwing but that out there. As yeah, a it tastes yeah, like it is. Dark. I mean, yeah. Well, we haven't had a taste yet. Let's start with the sniff. It, it, smell, nice smell. it smells good. It smells good. It, sm it smells like a Belgian's should, you know. Yeah, it's definitely nice. thick. It's uh, very aromatic. It's uh, almost almost floral. I would um, I would imagine that the Blue Moon drinkers would be able to enjoy this. Absolutely. That's really what separates uh, Blue Moon from you know uh, what what separates it in the mind of of, uh, of beer drinkers. You know, is it's actually you know it's a Belgian style white wheat and uh, and using a Belgian yeast will definitely uh, impart the uh, characters. Yeah, the yeah, there the it, it has uh, flavor esters that are generated by that yeast and it's indicative of the Belgian ale yeast. First taste there, wow. Yeah, definitely car caramel. That yeast strain, like it's, it's hard to pinpoint, you know, what you would, you know, mm -hmm. relate that to taste-wise. But it's, I've heard people call it like a, a funk, like a, funk. a, a pleasant it, funk. And, and it, it really I didn't, I didn't like that, I didn't like that term for a while. But the, the more and more I thought about it while I was drinking good beers that have the funk, <laughs> yeah. you know, it just started to make sense. Yeah, absolutely. So, and, and that's what it is. Funk. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a flavor that uh, you get from that yeast and, and definitely the, uh, Whatever kind of malt they're using is definitely coming through. You get that caramel out of there, or a good, uh, you know, a nice malty flavor. And, and there are some pops to round it off. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's definitely got to be mentioned, because if you don't have any hops, it's almost, it's like drinking, it can be like drinking syrup. It really can, you know? yeah. Not, not to say that it will be, but it can be. It certainly can be, yeah. And, you know, when drinking a Belgian ale, it's really important to have it in the right glass. You know, you'll notice that this has a beveled edge. And and this being the Sam Adams this is the beer Sam Adams glass, glass, the specially yes. designed one for the Boston Lager, it actually it works does work for other for beers. Just about every beer that I have had, I've probably poured in this glass, and I've had a lot of different beers. Now I don't always pour them in this glass in particular, but I like it because it's got that womanly shape that allows you to really see the different you know hues with the depth of the beer. Mm -hmm. Truly, this is nice. a sexy beer. Just so you can you know. See the womanly shape and the colors. Hopefully that comes through. And what's happening with this is it actually focuses a lot of the nose uh, with having that bev that beveled edge, and it unlocks a lot of flavor. You know, the uh, what's happening here is the uh, the bubbles are rising from the bottom, and they're bringing up with it a lot of long proteins, which are then opening up uh, the top, which is uh, you know imparting a lot of odor, and that's you know that's what a uh, huge percentage of flavor. And so, if and your that where good, it might taste good. Most likely will taste good. Yeah, yeah. 
but it is, it is definitely a good beer. I mean, it's light enough to where like you can really drink it fast. I don't know if you'd want to. I, it's um, it's not cheap, but it's not too expensive either. And minimal lacing. Not a lot of lacing on the glass, you know, when you look at it. Now, it's lacing. Uh, explain exactly what lacing is. is. Lacing is just a matter of the uh, the head residual head clinging to the side of the glass, and it just kind of gives you an idea about the viscosity of the beer and. And, uh, you know, the alcohol content, I don't know if it really affects your So, uh, <laughs> you know, this show is, is called BS and Beer, not just because it's Bruce and Steve, but it's also... <laughs> there's plenty of bullshit that goes on in drinking beer. There you go. Uh, one thing that is not bullshit, although it could be, is that this beer is 7% alcohol by volume, which is, uh, you know, that's relatively high um, amongst the uh, uh, craft... Craft brew, maybe it's a uh, middle ground. I'm sure they've done a Modern Marvels about this or how it's made episode. Oh, yeah. And if not, oh, yeah. suggestion. Yeah. How, no, how, it, how it's uh, Maybe not, you know? Yeah. How it's made. Push it out there. Because if they've already done it, I bet you they did it at, like, mm -hmm. Budweiser or something. It'd be cool yeah. to see it at, you know, Sierra Nevada or Goose Island oh, or something. God. And, you know, Stone Brewing, Green Flash. Just, you know. These guys, they, they've got it down to a science. They may not have a team of scientists. But they certainly have teams of brewers to get you a good product, and uh, and you know this Matilda is definitely a good product. Yeah. Um, how much is the uh, how much does it usually run for? The, the four pack at Beverages and More. Um, I hate to push that name, but you know that's just where I got it from. It's eleven ninety nine, and that's not on sale. I've never seen it on sale. So, but I I like it. Eleven ninety nine for a four pack of uh, of a beer that's clearly carbonated. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly carbonated by brewer's yeast. You can see it floating around in there. But it is a delicious beer. I would recommend it to anyone who likes a blue moon. I would say drink it a lot slower once you get to the very end. Probably drink it pretty fast in the beginning. Just to really coat your mouth and, you know, burp up some good flavor. And then just chill. Just chill with the rest. But since we only have a limited amount of time. We gotta go quickly. Yeah, we, we kinda gotta finish this beer, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is true, this is true. And, uh, and definitely a good beer. It's important to recognize that uh, Belgian ales taste different. Much, much different than virtually any other beer that you'll have. And uh, if it tastes anything like this, it's because it was probably an open fermentation and got some wild yeast in there. Um, and it's a good beer. Bottoms up, hey. Coral. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. I almost good feel beer. like I'm doing a disservice to this company chugging their beer. But, you know, we're running out of time. So whatever you're drinking at home, cheers. Yeah, cheers, enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Alright, we can cut some more. Yeah, well, see how much time we're going to have to get. Oh, 18 minutes, wow.